Howdy folks, Eric Darling here with Eric Darling Data, uh, being mildly distracted by a pen that I got. <coughs> it has my company name on it. Eh, I know that I'm doing incredibly well as a limited liability corporation when uh, I've started receiving uh, personalized office supplies. Very good feeling. But uh, today I'm here to talk about something really cool that I just noticed in uh, SQL Server 2019 uh, CTP 2.4, which just dropped today, like a few hours ago, or a couple hours ago, or some some amount of time ago that I can't really recall because my brain doesn't work anymore. Uh, but really neat and quick video just to show you what it is. Um, now, usually when you run a query, and uh, you know whether you get the actual plan or whether you go into the plan cache or whether you uh, you know go off and run crazy DMV queries when you have missing indexes it's always been kind of tough to tie what query asked for that in that missing index and uh, the missing index <laughs> request over in the DMVs for instance I have this query here which is asking for a, a non clustered index on the, the post table that includes owner owner user ID. And and I, I guess I suppose that's a, a is an okay index request. It's not the maybe not the greatest missing index request in the world because you know owner user ID is in, in the join and we might 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 want to index the columns that we join on. But that's not the point here. The point here is this. Now Rather than either having to, by chance, come across this pl plan in the plan cache or uh, run a, a DMV query and say, huh, I wonder, I wonder what query, query was, was asking for that. Well, now we can get that. So uh, in uh, the sys.dmdb missing index group stats query, uh, there are a couple new columns, and I'm going to, I've already run this, and I'm not going to run it again, because that would be ridiculous, but we have some new columns, where, holy crow, that zoomed in big, uh, but we get the query hash, query plan hash, and last SQL handle of uh, the query that asked for the missing index. So now, when we uh, query this DMV, we can join it off to sys.dm exec query stats, and we can cross apply sys.dm exec query plan handle to find the query plan of the query that asked for the missing index. And I think that's really, really spiffy. The only thing is, uh -huh, uh -huh, let's see. Da -da -da. Let's run this, and let's let's rerun this, and let's see let's see if this changes. Yeah, now now we get nothing back. So if if you're if you're if the <laughs> execution plan isn't in the plan cache anymore, uh, it's not going to tell us about that missing index, which is neither good nor bad, but it's just a thing. Bummer, huh? Anyway, uh, that's about all I had for this one. For now. I might come back to this as time allows. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you are excited, uh, or at least as as in like in like the neighborhood of excited as I am about uh, this new SQL Server version. And I hope that someday you too start getting personalized office supplies as a sign of your business's ultimate success. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching or whatever. I don't know, listening. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just staring blankly at a screen pretending to work. It could be anything, really. Anyway, thanks. See you next time. Goodbye. Button.